Morning. So, uh, last day, last day of the camp. Well, last day, it's uh, travelling day. We're going to be heading back to England now and then um, heading back up north, back up to Leeds. I wanted to get a video last night when we got in and kind of talking about how the tour's been and things like that up until that point. But by the time we got back to the accommodation, it was nearly midnight and then everyone was just exhausted. So, we had a bit of a sit down outside, had a brew, and then kind of talked about the game, talked about some of the highlights of the tour, and then went to bed. So, I thought I'd just leave it till the morning. Uh, yeah, last night was really disappointing um, not to get the win, not to go two from two and kind of seal the series. It's left it in kind of a, a weird place as a, as, a, as a draw, really. We were winning until the 77th minute and then um, to kind of it swung back in their way and then they scored and by the time the conversion was taken, it was over. So that's probably the negative thing. But the amount of positives that have come out from this tour, I mean, we've got a debut player who scored on his first game, Lewis King, which is incredible for him. Um, we've got the first time the French national side have been beaten on home soil, which was a massive upset and I think it shook them quite a lot. Then pushing them to the wire yesterday, you know, there were the times in that game when they were absolutely panicking and, and their heads were going and, and we, di we were digging deep and, and kind of putting it all over them. So there's some massive positives and like I said in the video last night, the biggest positive really is how we've come on as a team and how everyone's working for each other and bonded and, and I feel like this is probably the best we've been since I've been involved as a team and how hard everyone wants to work for each other. So I think on these whole five days, all the teams have been brilliant and, and uh, the staff have been brilliant and everyone's just been a small part of that bigger picture. So. Look at these guys here trying to get the last few rays. Don't want to go home with pasty white bodies. Yeah, so uh, we're at Avion train station now, about to head back up to Lille. And then we're going to change there and ride the train all the way back to back to Kent, and then from there, jump on the cars back up to back to the safety of Yorkshire. Uh, we were just chatting about it then about one of the things that we've been really impressed with over the past few days is how much support we've had back home. Um, looking on social media, England Rugby League and the World Cup and and all the other Twitter pages sharing everything I've been putting up or sharing everything the rest of the team's been putting up, and then. And then it getting retweeted and reshared and kind of spread even further. But it's been awesome, and we've had a lot of a lot of backing from the people back home, and that's really surprised us. And it's 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 been awesome to see. And it's quite um, it's quite. I think the first video I put out reached nearly ten thousand views, as it says on Twitter. So you think that's now the more and more exposure we're going to get over these next few years. By the time we hit the World Cup, do you know it's going to be huge. It's going to be a lot uh, hit a lot bigger audience, and that's awesome to see. We've been really kind of surprised by. By the support I've had and it's been awesome and everyone really appreciates it. Yeah, we're just in Lille at the moment, about to get the Eurostar up to up to Ken, and then uh, from there uh, the Southern players are going to kind of bomb burst and head home, and then we're going to start the journey up to up to Leeds, up to Yorkshire, and taking Jack up to Halifax as well. I think um, it's still pretty warm; you can pretty much see stuck in here. It's red hot. Oh yeah, by the way, this is our trophy for winning our first test against the French. France Angleterre June 2019 so first ever first ever first ever win in France there's the trophy that's coming home with us I think we're going to pass it around so everyone's going to have a day with it and then just keep it going until our next test right so back in Ebsleet that's probably about six hours sat on the train sweltering in the heat um, back in Ebsleet and it's nice and cool Oop, I nearly fell over then yeah so yeah back in Ebsleet back in England uh, so from here we're going to go to Medway our kit and chairs and everything set off yesterday after the game, so they crossed over the channel or under the channel, whichever way, this morning, I think. So they should be they should be waiting for us there now. So we'll go back there, pick all our kit up, and then... But yeah, it's been a long day travelling. It's been really positive. Everyone's been chatting about yesterday and chatting about the tour as a whole, and nobody seems downhearted or disappointed, which is good. Everyone kind of... Everyone's got a few little bits, their own little kind of... Um, little things have taken away from last night's game that they want to work on. So half ten at night, uh, still 100 miles to go until we get back to Yorkshire. We're in Peebra at the moment. I'm going to treat myself to a KFC. So 2.30am uh, on Tuesday morning, finally made it home. Um, had a quick shower, jumped into bed and getting ready to finally get some sleep. It's been a really long day on the road since half nine this morning. Travelled nearly a thousand miles by train and car to get home, but finally made it. Uh, so yeah, it's Tuesday, so it's a week today since I did my first video, just that little um, what to look forward to kind of teaser video that, that we put out. Um, 
Just want to say a massive thanks for all the support from everyone over the past week. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. Do you know, this is it was massively outside my comfort zone, but I kind of relished the chance to show some people what it's like um, playing wheelchair rugby league and then going on tour and uh, representing your country playing for England wheelchair rugby league and how, how much it means to us all. So thanks a lot for all the support back home and, and kind of all the messages and stuff we got and all the shares and, and, and all the mentions we got. It's, it's all really appreciated and everyone in the team feels the same. And everyone in the team's been doing their own things that they can to kind of help promote what we've been achieving these past few days. It's been a really successful few days, you know. I've said it before, but the the bond in the team is, is the strongest it's ever been and, and everyone's getting on so well, so much better than they ever have done before. Not that people weren't getting on, but that everyone's got so much closer and going over to France and I know I sound like a broken record, but going over to France and beating them on the home soil in front of their own fans is was a huge kind of a huge milestone for us and something that no other country's achieved and, and for us it's it's a great launching pad building for the next few years and then and heading into the World Cup. So it's been a really successful tour. Yes, we didn't win the second test, but we, we lost by four points and we were leading to the 77th minute. So we know we've got, got it in us what it takes to win. We've just got to fine-tune a few things and, and get those marginal gains kind of narrowed down. But it's been a great few days. It's been a great long weekend away. Um, and I just can't wait to get back out there and 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 be part of be part of this journey, really, to know it's been awesome. But in the meantime, it's back to back to playing for Leeds and chasing those chasing that silverware. So until next time, thanks a lot.